what's up? Happy New Year, happy 2013. Um, this is the Loose Legs, revised. But before I start, I wanted to give a shout out to the city of Santiago in Chile. And not because we share the same name, but because um, a student of mine, his name is Gio, actually went over there to visit some relatives. And he went to go check out the house dance scene. And apparently, a lot of the people in uh, Santiago who do house dance also watch my videos. So I was really humbled by that. And, you know, I decided to get up and do this tutorial instead of waiting one or two weeks like I always do. So for you guys in Chile, um, I wanted to dedicate this tutorial to you. Yeah, thanks for inspiring me. All right, so let's start. Um, we're going to break this tutorial down, the loose leg tutorial, into three parts, okay? We're going to do the legs, the body, and the arms. Now, loose legs is kind of a challenging move, so I feel like it needs a second look. Um, I've kind of, you know, changed the way that I've taught it, like, uh, throughout the years, and the last time I made a video on it was pretty much like, what, 2009 or something? So I felt like it deserved uh, a more in-depth look. All right, so let's start with the legs, okay? With the legs, I don't know if you've noticed, but I put um, three, uh, three X's on the floor over here. Now, this is going to help uh, put your foot placement in this move, okay? Now, there are many variations of where you can place your feet in this move, but this is just a general way that uh, I've thought up so that it makes it easier to learn. So, we still do the ball change, we still do the heel, we still go back, all that, still the same, but... Okay, we're going to do it a little bit different for this tutorial. Now, all of these X's are shoulder width apart, okay? Alright, so all of them are shoulder width apart. So what we're going to do is we're going to face 45 degrees that way, okay? Starting from here, we're going to face that way, and we're going to do a ball change on these two X's, okay? I'm going to start on my right uh, X over here and the back one. So I'm going to do the ball change on those. So I'm going to go five, six, seven, eight, and one, eight. Okay? Stay on the balls of your feet. You pretty much stay on the balls of your feet throughout this whole move, except obviously for the heel part. Okay? So you go five, six, seven, eight, and one, and. Okay? So you do the ball change on these two X's, and then after that, Here's a part that I didn't really talk about last time, but this back foot right here pivots on the heel part. So you're going to go ball change, heel, okay? And the heel part pretty much ends up in the center of these two axes, all right? So you go five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, okay? So you see the back foot, it pivots to the front like that. So at first I'm facing this way with both feet, right? on the balls of my feet. And then when I do the heel, this back foot pivots, okay? So it goes pivot like that, all right? So I go five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and, okay? Then you bring it back. One, and two, bring it back. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and, okay? After that, you do the same thing on the other side, except with this X and the back X, okay? You go five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, okay? So you do the ball change, then you do the pivot heel, bring it back, ball change, pivot heel, bring it back. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight, okay? Try it one more time, okay? I'm just gonna break it down one more time. Ball change, pivot heel, back, ball change, pivot heel, back, okay? Now I'm gonna do it more fluidly. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the legs. Alright, so now we're gonna do the body, alright? Now, I, I've had a lot of people send me footage of their dance and ask me to critique them. And what I've noticed is, uh, you know, for people who learn how to loose legs from either my videos or somewhere else, is they leave out the body, you know. A lot of them end up looking like this. 
okay? And doing that is kind of a very choppy way to, to do the loose legs. The loose legs are supposed to be fluid and you're supposed to be able to move around and it's a whole body experience, not just your legs. So I'm going to show you two ways, that uh, two exercises that you can do to perhaps help you get your body into motion along with your legs. Now, the first thing is what I call, you know, my drop and rise technique, okay? So, this technique, on the ball change, you drop, and on the heel, you rise, okay? So, let's try it. We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight, and drop, rise, okay? So, it's gonna go drop, rise, drop, rise, drop, rise, drop rise okay so basically it's just an exaggerated version of what's going on with my body while I'm doing this see it's uh, very subtle but I'm exaggerating it so you guys can see it perhaps you can imitate it and learn how to move with your own body eventually so let's try it again five six seven eight and drop rise drop rise drop rise drop rise one and two and three and four and five six seven eight thing is with your body you want to keep it loose so when you drop you drop like this like that okay don't 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 be stiff basically everything is a fluid movement see I'm going to drop and then my rise is almost like a wave up drop rise drop rise drop rise drop rise what also helps with that rise is that pivot on the back of your foot right here see you rise while pivoting here's another view rise rise drop rise drop rise okay so that's one way to move your body the other way is uh, to do this this is forward jacking motion, okay? But with all of this, you gotta add a groove, okay? You can't just be, you can't just be doing this. You can't just be dropping and rising. You gotta add your dance into it, okay? You gotta, you gotta feel it and put your own soul into your dance, okay? So for this forward back movement, it goes one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For every per, uh, for every count. You go forward and you just add it to your loose legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See? Forward. Okay? So either do the drop rise or the jet forward. And you know how, um, I don't know if you've heard the, uh, the saying, if you're not jacking, you're not house dancing, and that's actually true because jacking is the rhythm part of house dancing. It's the dance part, and even though it might not be noticeable that somebody's jacking, a true house dancer will be moving his body the whole time and not just be focused on the legs, okay? No matter how subtle it is, okay? So my body's moving a hundred percent of the time when I'm house dancing. You just can't tell all the time. All right, so that's the body. Okay, so for the arms, um, there are two general ways that uh, I go about when, it, when I uh, do arms with uh, my loose legs. And one is the holding the box method, okay? It's pretty much like I'm holding the box and I kind of just do natural movements with it, okay? So when I'm doing loose legs and I'm holding the box, I can be like this. Sometimes I'm just like limp-wristed, okay? And pretty much that's it. It puts more focus on on the, the legs and the body when I do that because my arms aren't really moving too much. But they shouldn't be stiff either. You shouldn't be like this. They should naturally go with your body, okay? Now, the second way I do it is uh, what uh, it's a term that I got from uh, cricket from New York. Uh, it's the wipe and swipe method. Uh, at least I, I think that's what he called it. I know he called it the wipe something. Okay. So how it is is first you wipe 
okay? You wipe down like this on the ball change. Wipe, and then on the heel, you sweat like that. So you go here, here. So you go one and two, okay? Well, let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight, and one and two and. Now after the swipe, you're gonna kind of do like an infinity motion right here, like a figure eight, and you're gonna go back around and you're gonna wipe again. So you're gonna go five, six, seven, eight, and one and two and three and four, and then you wipe and swipe again. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, and one and two, three. Four, okay. So let's try it without with the without the legs. Okay, it's just gonna go wipe, swipe, wipe, swipe, figure eight, wipe, swipe, wipe, swipe. And you add that to your dance. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, you know, everybody does it different. Some people do more of a, kind of like, you know, they're throwing your hand out, like that, okay? But this is the general movement for what a lot of dancers do with their arms when they do loose legs, so this is the breakdown of it, okay? So remember, the other one is just holding the box, then the wipe and swipe. Alright, so in conclusion, um, you know, we did the legs, the body, and the arms, okay? Now let's put them all together, okay? When you put it together, okay, make sure that you experiment. Do not just stay within the boundaries of the move. Like, with me, here's a little thing I learned from from Chicago, okay, from New York, <clears throat> is uh, adding little pivots to the loose legs, okay? Now, if you, if you learn this move right here, and you put it to the loose legs, okay, and you put it with your loose legs, you actually are able to make, you know, a simpler move into a more complicated one. So, expand your vocabulary, you know, don't just stick to textbook loose legs. You gotta do stuff within it. Like here's an example of what I'm talking about by pivots, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, uh, uh. Okay? So that's all freestyle. I didn't practice that. You know, I didn't practice what I was going to do, but I was adding stuff within the loose legs to kind of like make it mine, you know, make it my style, make it my movements. So, yeah, that's the loose legs. I wish you more luck in learning it, and until next time.